Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Log. I'm your host, Kami Hobo Wes Gardner. Hope you're doing well. It's kind of a late night recording tonight. What is it, about 11 p.m.? So it's a little darker around here. Mood lighting. I feel like telling a scary story, perhaps. But actually today, I'm going to tell you another story. A story about something very powerful. I think we all have it at a certain point. If not now, you will soon. I think once you pass a certain age bracket, you fall for nostalgia. So nostalgia is that weird longing and pining for old things, whether it's, you know, a relative or, you know, an item. Usually it's an item or a song or a movie that you remember from your childhood. And I don't know why, but lately nostalgia has been on thousand mile an hour kick. It's been huge. and. I don't know, like, Brittany and I went to a, a, an arcade today. We just, like, walked in for a second and, like, looked around and we're like, yep, this is an arcade. And left, uh... It, it's something I think what really started it is, if you've seen the last episode of West vs. Backlog with uh, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions, I talk about Maximum Carnage. And that's a game that came out on the Genesis and Super Nintendo. I played it for the Genesis. And I loved it. You know, I love that game. It's a pretty basic beat-em-up game, but Capturing footage of it, I was like, man, I miss, you know, I miss games like that. I, that's what I grew up with. I grew up as a Sega Genesis kid. My neighbor had a Super Nintendo and, you know, played the regular Nintendo. I want to say my first game ever was Duck Hunt. The, the bundle pack of Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt uh, came with a light gun. I remember that. I remember, like, Mickey Mouse capades, Tiny Toons, that type of stuff. So that's been a huge deal. Um, normally, people go for nostalgia whenever... Everything else is really chaotic, <laughs> and like our life is real chaotic right now. We got wedding planning, uh, our jobs. You know, we're doing promotions and changes and all sorts of stuff. So in both of our jobs, so just life itself is hectic. It's fun, but it's hectic. So sometimes you look back and you're like, remember when things were more simple? Let's go back to that. And I decided to pull the trigger, and this also kind of ties in with the my last comic log, the coffee talk thing. I didn't know quite what to do with the channel. I don't know what to do. I was like, eh, you know, I have a few ideas, but I don't, I don't know. Well, now I kind of wanted to tie this nostalgia into it. So here's something that I just got. And what better way to play old games than a system that plays old games? So this is the Super Retro Trio by Retrobit. Um, plays Genesis, Super Nintendo, and regular Nintendo. But it also plays Super Famicom and the uh, Sega Mega Drive. So the PAL and Japanese version of the Genesis. Super Famicom, of course, being the Japanese the Japanese uh, Super Nintendo. So yeah, pretty cool system. We got it set up. I argued it with it for about 30 minutes. It has a lot of cool features. It has a region switch on there also. Comes with a built-in, uh, you know, two of these actually. One's on the system right now. But uh, these are identical to Super Nintendo controllers. The weight is the same. The D-pad is the same. The whole thing, it's pretty wicked. Um, yeah, it took me a little bit to get everything set up. The system itself has this weird black gunk on where you put the cartridge. So what did we do? We, we are rocking it real old school. We got 91%, let's see, isopropyl alcohol. So first aid antiseptic. They make this in three main varieties. They make a 99%, a 91%, and 70%. I recommend the 91 or the 99. Really, any of them is going to be better than just, please don't blow in your cartridges. That's an old school thing, but don't do it. Don't do it, kids. Getting the spit all in there. Use the rubbing alcohol. Trust me, way better. Got some Q-tips as well. Uh, but the thing is, I got the system, and then we didn't have any games. We had no games. So I was like, you know what? Me and the fiance, let's go. Let's go to the mall. Let's buy, let's go to the retro game shop. Let's buy some old school video games. Haven't done that literally in 20 some odd years. So what we got, we got one for each system since it can play regular Nintendo, Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. What we got, let's see, for the regular Nintendo, we got Fester's Quest. The old Adams family, isn't he the butler? Fester's something. He's, or he hangs out. He's like their, 
servant. Oh, he is the uncle. That's right. The uncle fester. That's right. It says it on the main screen, which looks like it was made in MS Paint, by the way. It's amazing. So for the Sega Genesis, it's kind of a beat up little copy of it. But Sega Genesis, we went with the old Jurassic Park, of course. But yeah, see, a little wear and tear on that one. No problem. Um, works great. This is the one that I had the hardest time getting to work. Not because of the condition of the game, the game's in perfect condition, but because I had the uh, switch flipped to Japanese territory on the Genesis. And you can't do that. Like, <laughs> you can't try to play an NTSC game on a uh, Japanese NTSJ, I think it is, uh, switch. You can't do it. It won't load. No picture will come up. I was so mad. I was like, oh, because if you saw the box here for the system, I got it shipped, and there's that big dent in here, right here. So I was, I was getting angry. I was like, did they send me a broken machine? But no, I was just an idiot, which is probably the case 89% of the time. But finally, for the Super Nintendo, we got the Lawnmower Man. The auto, there it is, the Lawnmower Man. Look at that THQ logo, by the way. See that one? Look at that. So THQ is not only not a company anymore, but that is a way way different logo uh so those are three games you're probably asking why we didn't go with the classics like why didn't you get a donkey kong country why didn't you get uh sonic and why didn't you get you know legend of zelda well fair play um we decided to get some games we've never played before because that's part of the fun right is let's just play some classic games classic and we don't even know what they are let's just blind buy them uh, so all in all came out to right at ten dollars a little under ten bucks like nine eighty five or something so not bad and this kind of ties in with how this is going to work for the future content of the YouTube channel. So we already have West versus Backlog. Now, I'm proud to announce, and I'm not going to show you the big reveal. I've already made all the stuff, all the content, as far as the opening and outro and all that stuff. But I'm going to show you that. You're going to have to watch it. But there is now going to be a West versus Backlog retro edition, where we play games. So now you know why. I asked what are retro games on Twitter to hear what everybody's thoughts were, because this is what I was planning, is some sort of retro stuff. The way we're going to do it is also going to be fun, because that's going to be even more YouTube content, is we are subscribing to a mystery box. Uh, we will be doing unboxing videos of video games monthly. So they kind of have a tier system to where you can get anywhere from three to ten classic games. You pick the system. I think it starts at, you know, the uh, the... Sega Master System, you know, Atari 2600, works all the way up until PS2, I believe is the cutoff, uh, in that era. So original Xbox, PS2, GameCube, right around there. And they sell systems, they sell all that type of stuff, but I signed up for, you guessed it, regular Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Sega Genesis. I also signed up for the five-game pack, so we'll be getting five games a month. We're going to be doing blind unboxings. That'll be video content on here. I think it'll be Comilog. We'll just tie it in, make Comilog unboxing series. We'll do something. But getting it uh, once a month for the foreseeable future. And that's going to be a lot of fun. And we're going to review those games for West vs. Backlog Retro. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the cool thing about Video Games Monthly is you can send them your wish list of games. So if you have specific games you would like, you can go ahead and get it sent to them. They can do their best to, to see it. They also do stuff like they can send you partner packs, which are games that are hand-picked and hand-selected from, uh, from the people that run Video Games Monthly, in addition to your normal box. So you get your normal box of five games, plus this bonus box of however many. Uh, also, randomly, you can get a box that has a one-up, a two-up, or a three-up, meaning you get one extra game, two extra games, or three extra games. I've seen them go as high as five. So if we got a five-up with a five-game deal, we would get ten games in one month wild right like just crazy uh but you could always go in they also do super famicom and they do mega drive so we could get import games if we wanted so i'm probably going to try to build the backlog of uh north american kind of usa games first then i'm going to start dabbling in the import stuff because you can always mix and match you can keep track of your library that way they don't send you duplicates Overall, pretty cool, cool thing. But if you want to know my wish list, uh, I'll run through it real quick. And I'm actually going to put them here up on the screen so you can kind of see the full wish list. So, if, like, for Nintendo, I put, you know, Castlevanias are up there. 
uh, any of the Dragon Warriors, but apparently Dragon Warrior 1 doesn't work too well with certain clone systems, which is what the Retro Trio is. We'll see, though. Um, of course, I put, like, any of the Mega Man's uh, Double Dragon. I put Mickey Mouse Capades, because, of course, like we said, that that is one of the first video games I ever remember playing. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, because that would be amazing. <laughs> uh, Super Mario Brothers, any of them, of course. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Legend of Zelda. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden, uh, all that stuff. Also, Bugs Bunny Birthday Blowout, you probably see up there. Some of these games I know aren't very good, but hey, I remember them, I grew up with them, so I want them, and there you go. So if we move to Super Nintendo, this is where you get some of the good stuff right here. So Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> I, I played it, I grew up with it. Uh, of course, the Breath of Fires. If they send me a Breath of Fire game, I'm going to freak out. I don't think they will. They probably won't. Even if they have it, they they won't give it to some YouTube schlub. Um, Final Fantasy 2 and 3. 2, maybe. Who knows? We could get it, maybe. 3, I'm not hedging my bets. Uh, the same thing, I put Ogre Battle. And then even in the email, I put Ogre Battle, and in parentheses, I put Haha. Because, once again, no way. I think, I can check the going rate real quick, but that, that game's super expensive. There's no way they're sending it. Uh, but of course, Super Mario World, of course, any of the Street Fighter 2 stuff, uh, any WCW and WWF game, I just I just need them in my life. Um, yeah, Maximum Carnage, you see it right there, good stuff. Uh, and then moving over on to the Genesis, <laughs> Batman Forever, <laughs> that's true, terrible game, but hey, grew up with it. And yes, I'm not kidding, Shaq Fu. Shaq Fu, it's considered maybe one of the worst games ever made. I don't care. I love Shaq Fu. I want him to send me a Shaq Fu. Uh, sort of Vermilion, any of the fantasy stars. So you may say, oh, well, they're not going to send you fantasy star. I've seen a lot of unboxing videos where these people are getting fantasy star three, fantasy star four, fantasy star two in box with manual. Crazy, right? So that game right there is worth the price of the box. Then everything else is bonus. I saw a group of guys get Mega Man X for Super Nintendo. Um, God, there's been some actual rare stuff sent through there. Also, some of the regular Nintendo games have the five screws in the back, so they're original print NES games. They're, you know, once they got probably a year into producing NES games, Nintendo sent out three screw backs to those games. So that's how you can tell what generation, I guess you could say, your NES games are. But yeah, with the Genesis, you got, you know, uh, oh, Eternal Champions. So like I said, maybe these aren't the best games in the world, but hey... I grew up with them. They're my favorites. So that would be cool. But yeah, we'll be doing unboxing videos and that type of thing. Also, what we're going to be doing is using a website called, let me click on it real quick, Game Value Now. That way we can kind of see what the actual value is. I know some of the months it's going to be undervalued. Some of the months it's going to be overvalued. As long as we break even over the course of like six months, I'm fine. And plus, half the fun anyway is getting random stuff. Yeah, the game they send me might be a dollar. But if it's fun, it's fun. Fair play. Uh, but we're actually going to do, because we paid about $9 and some change. So what I'm going to do now is right up here, I'm going to put how much, let's see, Jurassic Park for the Sega Genesis. Fester's Quest for the regular Nintendo. And The Lawnmower Man. For Super Nintendo, so we'll see what the what the uh, price guide is on that. Hopefully, we got around ten bucks worth. Um, should be good. But I just wanted to fill you guys in on what the future holds. Ironically, it's we're going back to the past. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a different review setup as well for the West versus Backlog Retro. You guys are going to flip out when you see the video effects and stuff we made for it. It's hilarious. But yeah, wanted to fill you guys in on kind of what was going on, where I've been. I uh, hope you did check out that West vs. Backlog, the Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. I'm real proud of it. I think you guys should go watch it. A lot of cool info on it. I'm proud with how the footage turned out. The sound levels were good. Like, all the technical stuff, it was mwah, right on the button. And that's kind of the, the level that we're going to hit from now on. And of course, subscribe to Brothering Around. If you haven't already, check out Kamidahobo.com. But you guys know the drill. You can hit me up on Twitter, twitter.com slash Kamidahobo. But guys, that's my time. This is Comilog. I'm going to go play some more retro games. I already played a little bit of all three of those, and all three are very difficult. Lawnmower Man. Well, Jurassic Park especially. I keep dying, and it's not, it's not a pretty sight. 
But guys, until next time, this has been another edition of Comilog, and we'll see you next time. Peace.